Hey listeners, today we visit India to talk to Amit Grover, founder at Aha Taxis and find out how he reached his aha moment. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Asian Entrepreneur, where we take a look inside the lives of the accomplished and successful businessmen and women. We'll get up close and personal with the founders of booming startups with an occasional famous name so we can get entrenched in the mindset and activities that made them who they are today. Lean in and prepare to carry away something to skyrocket your own business. Hey listeners, I am your host Raji Unikrishnan and this is a show where we talk about entrepreneurship and speak to great founders today we have with us amit grover founder at aha taxis india's leading online aggregator for outstation travel welcome amit thank you rajiv it's a pleasure to be here oh great okay just a brief intro on amit he was born in a kanpur up india his mother is a retired teacher father a shopkeeper and his sister is also a teacher he is uh, done his mechanical engineering from iit delhi and his mba from iim indore currently lives in noida delhi uh something trivial uh, trivial fact he's traveled to more than 125 cities in the last 5 years his passions other than business cricket and movies he's uh, been covered in bbc readif and business today and also invited by the SBI chairman for a special session with a USA senator uh before our taxis he had started his career with infosys worked with asian pains as a brand manager after his mba and uh, joined onida as a special assistant to the chairman he handled mumbai angel investments f- for around 3 years uh the current business stats of our taxis uh it has served more than thousands of travelers across 100 plus cities for outstation one way taxi trips are uh, growing at a 50% uh, rate month on month on all metrics and looking to expand uh, to more than 100 c- cities a brief of aha taxis it's uh, one of the leading online aggregators for outstation travel they offer online taxi booking for customers with one way fares return journeys and multi multi city booking Uh, their vision is to give freedom of choice to their customers worldwide for traveling where they wish to while saving costs and at the same time benefiting the taxi drivers with increased business all right amit hope that was a good enough intro and if you would like to add anything <laughs> no i think that's uh, uh, very relieving uh, to hear about yourself from people like you rajiv <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, i'm hoping to inspire all, all our listeners with your stories also <laughs> Uh, we also hope uh, okay yeah. uh, you know in some ways uh, it makes us feel uh, happy about ourselves and uh, to make some contribution to the lives of your listeners will be a great, great honor for me at our end great. okay to start with we let's just go over the business and product uh, what inspired the idea for your service product So Rajiv uh, I ran my previous venture Nurture Talent Academy for almost 5 years uh, the venture was uh, uh, about training of students on taking alternate career choices in entrepreneurship so that's what took me to nearly 125 cities and throughout that uh, time while we were training uh, students on uh, their ideas I was personally looking for something really unique okay after Nurture Talent what is it that will excite me right. and uh, then this aha moment came aha taxis was born and it was uh, in the middle of 2014 uh, when uh, i had to travel to bhopal my train ticket from delhi to bhopal was uh, uh, waitlisted and it got confirmed but when i had to return back from bhopal to delhi again it was a waitlisted ticket okay. which got cancelled i am sure uh, uh, there are a billion indians who if they listen to this can relate to the story of what a pain uh, that they have to go through uh, when a train ticket gets cancelled at the last moment i went through the same pain me my family which includes my wife and kid had to take an overnight journey pay double the fare for bhopal to delhi even though i had no plans to uh, come back to bhopal 
and that's the time <laughs> i realized that uh, you know in india it's a very typical problem the one way fares as we are talking about that uh, if you have to go from city a to city b you have to pay for the driver to come back from city b to city a correct so yes. the uh, rationale from the supplier the driver the vendor taxi on the side is that they don't get a return trip easily so the customer who needs to go has to bear double the charges okay but okay. with the advent of uh, technology with the advent of internet digital mobile uh, i personally felt that you know it's a very unique indian problem which none of the um, fairly established global players including uber or the indian players including ola were addressing at that time yes correct okay. feeling that uh, gap as well as the opportunity i said okay let me use uh, the uh, three pillars on which we can build this organization technology marketing and operations get the suppliers on one side the taxi owners and taxi vendors yeah. and get the customers on the other side where we will be able to uh, make a significant uh, uh, contribution while solving a very very local indian problem definitely and yes since then that's the time aha taxi's idea was born it's an aha moment uh, for me <laughs> and which is why we thought okay yeah. aha taxi needs to be the name of this organization and how does uh, aha taxis work uh, from the supplier side and from the consumer side okay so uh, as i defined the problem already yes. with you uh, let us say you have to travel from delhi to agra tomorrow mm-hmm. you want to see the taj you want to enjoy yourself for four five days and you want to come back from agra to delhi after five days okay so what we encourage you uh, uh on is to make the online booking you pay about 500 rupees in advance to confirm your booking and in our uh, system it uh, is recorded as two journeys okay something okay. which is similar to what we would do while making a flight booking or you are making a train booking okay then what we do is we uh, have a network of service providers these are third parties including the taxi owners come vendors okay uh, and it's a highly uh, evolved and uh, complex spread across uh, 100 plus cities okay yes so the first priority is if there is any vehicle of agra which is in delhi mm-hmm. we will allocate that to you okay the second priority if there is any vehicle of delhi which wants to go to agra we will allocate your booking to him okay then we do the similar kind of routing okay which is based on our <coughs> traditional <coughs> market understanding as well as vendor relations okay which we are now in the process of making it as a algorithmic uh, automated decision based algorithm Oh, uh, and this is going to happen on a run time basis okay? Oh, okay so so you can say we started from uh, say the traditional uh, travel agent model where we said okay give us the bookings and we'll find our taxi driver for you and then we started building systems and processes around it so that we are able to solve the whole problem at scale so okay. it's important when i talk about at scale you can imagine there are billions of travelers yes. in a country like india yes. okay and as a person singly if i want i can do good business okay i can take 10 or 20 or 30 bookings daily i'll make 500 rupees from each booking i'll make a few lakhs <laughs> at the end of the month yes. and i'll be very happy doing a small business i'll make an impact in the lives of small number of travelers yes but with the use of technology this is the impact that we can create we can impact the lives of billions of travelers and billions of drivers across the country which is what we aim to do brilliant very good super idea yeah. and uh, thank you uh, it's it's a web and app based product 
Yes. So okay. we do offer web as well as mobile app for uh, uh, the booking process from a customer side. From the driver side, we have a web as well as an app which is under development and in the process of being launched the next week or so. Okay. And uh, uh, when it comes to revenue model, how is it? Is it freemium, ad based, or is it subscription based as of now, or a commission on each? So, uh, so from a simple as a marketplace model, we charge based on every booking uh, on a commission basis to the drivers. So our uh, basic uh, business model is to get a booking at X and find a driver at X minus minus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Or in some cases, get a driver uh, rate at X and find customers at X plus plus. And that plus plus or minus minus is our uh, revenue or the commission earned. Okay. okay. Means, in future, yeah. we will look at other sources of revenue as well. Okay. Uh, by franchising uh, our uh, system, okay, it could have more possibilities in terms of revenue generation. However, right now our focus is to solve the problem, okay, and uh, do it at a sustainable revenue model basis. Yes, so we uh, do make money from every booking that happens. At the same time, mm-hmm. the driver should feel that he made some money, and at the same time, customer should feel that yes, I saved because of booking using Aha Taxi. Yes, yeah, so more of them will from both sides will come to your product actually. Yes, That's absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and in terms of uh, funding, uh, you're still bootstrapped or uh, uh, already undergoing roadshows for raising any funds or. How is it right now? Okay, so uh, so last year when we started, I uh, started this on a bootstrap basis. Mm. We had two co-founders at that time. Uh, then we started uh, to uh, build the product uh, using some outside help, got a techie and shared the stakes with him uh, to be able to kickstart the venture. I had some money of my own from my previous venture, which I used entirely in investing and developing the web portal, hosting, and various other things that we had to spend upon the necessary stuff which we had to do. And uh, once we started getting few bookings, we got the product live in about three months. And within three months, we uh, after going live, we were doing uh, double-digit bookings, uh, uh, um, and uh, that's the time when we started to approach the angel investors. Mm-hmm. A few months back, we raised our first round of funding oh, from an angel investment network based in India. Okay. So, uh, which is our ventures. Uh, and uh, now we are a one year old organization. Uh, and we are doing our you know triple digit bookings uh, and we are looking to raise another round of funding in the next few months to go on in pan india level okay so the so the fundraise will be used for uh, growth across india exactly yes. okay and since you're in the fundraising stage and you've been through it before uh, i mean i've heard that the market has kind of clamped down how is it looking outlook in 2016 compared to 2015 much change uh, so i i don't believe there is much change on the ground level the problems the opportunities mm-hmm. uh, the constraints uh, these are all very exciting uh, from all angles that i look at uh, uh, especially so because the sector we are in travel is a very very basic need so uh, it has neither gone down or gone up in the last few years okay but with new new national highways um, uh, getting added new roads coming up constraints on the indian railways there is a huge growth opportunity which is still going to be coming up in the taxi sector. Absolutely. That's what I believe. Correct, correct. Yes. Okay. Now moving away from business, uh, who were your influencers in life, Amit? Uh, so lots of them. I mean, <laughs> I am a middle class uh, guy. I uh, started, uh, you know, uh, my, my education and uh, my whole upbringing was in Kanpur as a middle class person. You know, I went to uh, convent school, studied hard to get into IIT. Uh, all this while, my parents were a big influence. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, 
my mother has sacrificed a lot to uh, you know support us uh, my father has been a shopkeeper so every day for the last 20 years his routine is to get up at 7 be in the shop at 8 and okay. come back at you know 9 in the evening okay so uh so they have been a huge influence in what we are doing and what we have done okay um then you know uh, uh, while i was going up uh, i saw the uh, you know the ups and downs uh, along with sachin tendulkar he is a role model okay the way he really uh, shook the whole world with his talent uh, <laughs> yes. entertained us a uh, yeah. uh, lot many people including amitabh bachchan okay there are lots of uh, even in the business world uh, mr ratan tata uh, we have uh, you know been influenced a lot with his uh, you know decisions with his management with the things that they have done in their lives uh, they have really been a role model for me personally uh, some day i wish to be like them <laughs> okay great and some of the best advice or wisdom you have been given Uh, so uh, the advice obviously keeps changing but one of the uh, best advice that i've been given uh, uh, and uh, most of the times uh, we do keep getting lot of advice so one of the ways which i got was that you have to keep moving come what may Correct. okay yeah. so uh, don't give up uh, there are a lot of uh, ways in which you will get challenged okay it could be somebody from your competitor side it could be something in your environment in the society so for example when i started my first venture uh, the first dialogue from one of my uncle was ki oh isko company se nikal diya hoga <laughs> that's why he started the venture okay <laughs> yeah. so so literally you know you have those kind of comments coming up and um, and uh, similar things happen all the time on a daily basis okay but uh, one thing we realized is that you have to keep moving uh, all the time okay. uh, try to do things uh, what you did not do yesterday okay so that you can do better tomorrow yeah, superb okay and uh, who are some of your mentors so uh, as i said my parents have always been very supportive okay mm-hmm. uh, and i'm sure that uh, stands for the whole of india um, parents uh, really support their children in whatever they do um, i've been very fortunate to closely work with golu mir chandani the owner of onida okay. who himself is a first generation entrepreneur started the, the revolution of color televisions in india yes. expanded a company which stood the fight with lg and samsung of the world okay then uh, i closely worked with sasha mir chandani who is the son of golu mir chandani Uh, these are couple of business people who i have been really influenced with the way they uh, lead their lives by example uh, and the way they have an outlook for business oh, great so great okay. they have been very supportive i worked with onida at the same time with mumbai indians for 3 years and uh, we really had a lot of good uh, you know uh, in depth understanding of the way business should be the way business will be Yeah, I'm sure during your time in Mumbai Angels, you saw and met a lot of startups also. Yeah. Yes, uh, in fact, in three years, I must have met about thousand uh, startups. <laughs> uh, almost every day, I used to spend, uh, uh, you know, half an hour uh, listening and learning and fighting and negotiating and counseling and consulting with lot of startups. Uh, uh, that was one of my key responsibilities: uh, handling investments. Uh, okay. Uh, so so it was a very very you know uh, uh, and uh, incrementally you grow every day you okay. learn from experiences of people and you get to imbibe some of them in your own life and lifestyle superb okay and uh, coming to entrepreneurship when did you know you were meant for entrepreneurship so as i said uh, it was a gradual uh, okay. thing okay like uh, uh, so Uh, being a middle class person getting into it itself was a dream and it was an achievement for many people of course uh, 
and uh, after working with Infosys and doing MBA, it was a big thing. You know, getting IIT, I am tag. <laughs> it's a big thing uh, all across, and especially uh, you know, uh, being in India, it sounded well, and uh, it is seen as something. You know, once you are IIT, I am everything is all set for you. Okay, <laughs> but then being adventurous, I said, okay, let me look at other avenues. Uh, so only that happened, uh, and by chance, I got you know. Uh, plunge into entrepreneurship like i met thousands of entrepreneurs and we felt like what oh, these are heroes these are the people who are doing something they are solving a problem yes they are facing challenges they are having a you know um, really uh, struggle in meeting ends but they have something that they want to be proud of Correct. so this is what i really felt so it was not like he, one day i felt ki oh i have to uh, leave my job and be my own uh, boss it was gradual uh, it took me 3 years to um, make a complete mind shift okay and even after that uh, okay. this is my sixth yeah sorry sixth so we are already in 2016 so this is my seventh year as an entrepreneur okay and uh, i still feel very energetic uh, about uh, uh, doing something which will make uh, a difference to the lives of billions <laughs> excellent okay and how do you measure success amit is it bottom line lifestyle or family or a combination uh i think family family comes first uh, okay. definitely uh, once you receive respect from all uh, around people okay first you have to have your own self respect okay uh, you are doing something which you set out to do that success um Sachin Tendulkar hitting 50 centuries and then hitting a 51st century, uh, uh, he would say, "Okay, this is just another thing to do." Okay, <laughs> and for millions of other people, just hitting one run or being, uh, you know, able to represent India, your peers respecting you, your own self is, uh, is is something which is essential. Okay, yeah. uh, you get to overachieve. You get to set your own target, and you get to overachieve them. That that success. Okay. Uh, I don't think money or uh, some other people giving you some awards or mm-hmm. you know asking you out for uh, advice or you know. I don't think that's uh, success. That's more of more of a you know trivial thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. other people, uh, you know, giving awards or uh, achievements or recognitions. Okay. Uh, your own uh, definition has to be there yes okay and what drives you <laughs> to continue your entrepreneurial endeavors mm, so uh, at our taxis uh, we really believe we are uh, doing something important okay, okay, okay. there are uh, uh, parents who want to get their child admitted into a college uh, there are people who want to go to places like haridwar to do uh, either a mundan ceremony or uh, you know uh, other ceremonies okay it could be an occasion of uh, uh, death or occasion of birth okay yeah, yeah. hundreds of uh, such experiences we go through where people say oh right now i need a car okay i want to enjoy somebody else says i want to take out my team for a group holiday mm. some people would have other experiences i want to take out my girlfriend for a late night dinner in murthal which is just about you know 80 yeah. kilometers from delhi yeah, yeah. so you know when people uh, relate these experiences and they have a happy uh, trip with aha taxis they feel satisfied they have that choice ki yes i got something Uh, that really excites us and makes us proud. Yes, these are the people who we want to make a difference in the lives of. If it is a small, that's not an issue. Okay. Yes. Yes. But for that person at that moment, we solved a big problem. Of course. Yes. And okay. that's the spirit that uh, you know excites us every day. Great. And uh, I mean, uh, cons. I don't know if this is your first venture, but what has been the lowest point in your entrepreneurial career, and how did you get out of it, if any? <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, as I said, uh, you know, uh, 
a team is a very very big challenge especially when you are working with people who may or may not relate to the way you are doing things or the sacrifices or challenges you are undergoing so in fact at aha taxis i can relate to my recent uh, you know uh, challenge uh, was that when one of my very very close uh, friends and a partner in business okay mm. uh because he had personal challenges uh, he opted to be out of uh, business okay uh and it was a really shocking thing for me uh i spent about you know couple of weeks trying to evaluate all kind of alternatives including going back to a corporate job oh my god um yeah. looking at other ways to uh, sustain the venture okay uh and then finally uh, one of my uh, common friends in fact suggested that uh, let not any outside uh, you know uh, circumstance or event control our destiny okay okay um, so he suggested you have put in your 5 6 years into building something uh, give it another 5 6 months it will not make any difference okay uh, going back to a job you'll get any day okay <laughs> yeah. being from the background commitment experience that's not the challenge yeah. so i said okay um, let me give it another try and that try then resulted in me speaking to nearly 30 people getting five of them as four of them sorry as my current co-founders in business uh the person who we are talking about who did not want to come on board mm, he's also an advisor and a uh, close and supporting friend as well okay so uh, it turned out to be something really uh, you know um going from a near uh, death uh, in terms of corporate experience <laughs> yeah. to a real high uh, in terms of what we're doing now so that's so, good it worked um, out well Yes yeah, yeah. Uh, so it could be a god's grace it yes, could be luck yes. it could be uh, perseverance uh, uh, what have we got to try yes. <laughs> okay and uh, in terms of product or service what would be your worst failure uh, i mean so something if you could yeah. uh, reframe uh, in terms of what uh, we expect on this so what was your worst failure in product or service creation Oh, lots of them. Uh, we do lots of experiments and lots of trials <laughs> on a daily okay. basis, on a weekly basis. Okay, we keep changing the color or font or the rates or the routes or the <laughs> kind of services that we offer. Uh, um, so, no, I think uh, uh, because it happens so often, uh, then nothing stands out. Okay? okay, so failure is more often than success in our uh, really? kind of ventures. Okay. okay. Uh, okay so and, uh, for yeah. example uh, we we came out with a long term program in our previous uh, venture uh-huh. and it failed miserably we spent about uh, 2 lakhs and we got about 20000 in terms of revenue so so you know <laughs> we had done 500 one day workshops okay and the first time we launched a 3 months program we couldn't even get uh, you know seven people to enroll more than that okay so so this is so a good change kind of yeah, yeah. yeah okay yes so yeah. i i think uh, over a period of time some things get in the part of your corporate dna okay yes. so when it requires really uh, you know big effort to make a change to that <laughs> yes correct <laughs> Okay, and what does your average day look like, Amit? I mean, I'm sure you're really super busy, but <laughs> uh, sorry, average uh, average day look like. What does your average day look okay, like? Okay, average day. Um, so it starts late. Uh, you know, spend some time with family. Yes. I have a five-year-old kid. Oh, lovely. He goes to school, so I have to get him ready. Uh, nowadays, obviously, he's enjoying his winter holidays, but. Uh, <laughs> So mostly that's the routine. Then uh, you know have a team call early uh, in the day. Uh, sets out the you know some kind of a team spirit as well as a pace in which you want things to happen. Okay. Uh, then followed by you know reporting to office if you have any important meetings. Okay, otherwise you know, uh, every day you have to see which metrics you need to focus on. Uh, so for example. example at aha taxi we are focused on growing the number of uh, bookings every day yes. and ensuring that each of these bookings generate a positive unit economics for us okay? correct correct uh, 
then you spend time with the team okay trying to guide them helping them grow to the next level uh by the end of the day uh, we are looking at you know things uh, which will help us uh, to reach out to more people so for example i'm talking to you okay that how happens once in a while where you are able to share your experience with you know a larger community yes, in a way it also helps us uh, uh, you know relate to our own experiences um, and uh, also be able to uh, contribute in smaller ways correct um when you are the day late you know i usually sleep uh, you know i watch tv for an hour or so and sleep late 12 okay. or 1 in the night okay. and be ready for the next day great and uh, uh what characteristics do you consider when making uh, business relationships i think trust is very important okay. uh, people have to say what they want to do and then they have to follow it up with that okay, okay. so if people say something do something else then it is really a bad experience and i would rather avoid a deal which makes me or has a potential to make me more money uh, but with the wrong kind of people involved in that deal i would rather say no to that correct okay, okay. Um, and, uh, you never know what could happen with correct, those people correct. and uh, i'm i'm sure you're involved with hiring and when you're hiring uh, what do are you looking for uh, for someone to join our taxis so at our taxis in fact recently we have grown the team uh, to double the size of what it was last month mm-hmm. okay and what we look at is some kind of a positive energy and enthusiasm in what they want to do okay uh, there are uh, you know many people who may not have the energy uh, you know when i say that a uh, passion to solve problems uh, uh, a way to learn new things okay not only be in the office from 9 to 5 yep. but also to be able to contribute grow uh, look at other ways of doing things so for example as a startup founder i personally like people who have you know multi skills and multi experiences yes, yes okay yeah. so somebody says yeah. uh, absolutely you know oh i cannot talk to people on the phone oh i don't want to meet people mm-hmm. okay uh, i only want to sit in front of my laptop and i want to do strategy uh, <laughs> because that's what i've been doing all this while yeah. so these kind of things you know put us off uh, and then we decide to even if uh, uh, it's a really exciting um low cost employee we would rather not take them as a part of our team okay good okay okay it's it, it's good to have one or two skills where you have really the depth of doing things yes and then you need to have a multiple you know uh, skills where you can contribute to the overall uh, organization okay and uh, do you believe everyone has the potential to be a success in his or her business or cause Yeah, uh, yes, in a way, I do believe that. And okay. uh, in fact, what I always suggest is, uh, we, we, it's worth a try. Okay. Yes. Uh, once in your life, you should leave everything and try to become an entrepreneur. Uh, see, a lot of people, I'm sure, our listeners here will be from good educational backgrounds, good family backgrounds. There might be a lot of people who would be struggling with their jobs or with their finances or. with the other personal problems but um, entrepreneurship is really liberating starting something trying to uh, build something it uh, grows you as a person as well as you are able to realize what the potential is yes uh, yes uh, i i remember there is a very interesting story uh, anuman uh, uh, and i am uh, hope uh, i am right on this uh, when uh, anuman the god was a child um, he didn't knew uh, he didn't know actually what his talent or what his powers were he had been granted powers by you know a lot of gods and but he didn't know them okay yeah. so then somebody uh, and uh, told him ki hanuman you have this much power that you can go reach the sun and he said oh this is exciting i didn't know that so let me try and he did that and then you know let a lot of famous incidents happen uh, some part of it may be mythology some part of it yeah, yes. may be uh, believes okay 
So, and this is the story that, you know, I always tell uh, that you may not be even knowing your potential, okay? Yes. Uh, somebody might tell you and then you might discover that potential and I would say you should give it a try. Good, great. Okay, now we come to a part of our show which is a quick fire round, okay? Uh, okay. Just one, one, two word answers are okay. Uh, when people ask you, what do you do? How do you answer that? Uh, I uh, um, I sell taxis and enable you to travel. Okay. When you think of the word successful, who is the first person that comes to mind? Uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Okay. What are the most common misconceptions about you? That I am an introvert. <laughs> and I have a dull life. Okay. Uh, and I do work all the time. Uh, or I'm a really rich entrepreneur. <laughs> okay. Uh, lots of them, I guess. Okay. And what do you <laughs> excel at uh, that people might not realize? Mm, so I'm very, very uh, open. And people open out uh, very quickly with me. They feel okay. comfortable. They feel uh, relieved. Uh, and it hardly takes me five ten minutes to make somebody comfortable uh, mm. about being with me. Okay, and uh, one sec. Okay, if you instantly lost everything, what steps would you take to become successful? Mm, I start again. <laughs> okay, and uh, what is something you believe that other people think is insane? Uh, sorry. What is some something you believe that other people think is insane? Um, I I believe uh, that art exists is a billion dollar idea. Okay, I don't think that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people think so. <laughs> okay, favorite movie? Um, मैंने प्यार किया दिल वाले Rang De Basanti, um, lots of them. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, many James Bond movies, the okay. whole series of Mission Impossible, um, uh, Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> okay. one, two, and I'm sure this year the third is Correct. online. Yes, yes. And the book yes. you're currently reading? Uh, uh, none of them. Okay. <laughs> uh, none of them right now. Okay. But I am looking forward to Chetan Bhagat's next novel. Okay, okay, good. Whenever that happens. Okay, and finally, one last thought or piece of advice uh, you would like to give our listeners? Uh, so, the same thing that I got from uh, one of my friends, uh, I would advise people to keep moving, okay? Um like I said, it's a very lonely journey, but it's okay. very satisfying to be an entrepreneur. Uh, uh, there are many challenges which come up and uh, uh, you might be feeling low because of uh, other people doing well or you not doing so well. Uh, but uh, please realize that you have to keep moving forward and onward. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, where do you want our listeners to go to get more informed? Sorry, could you uh, repeat? Where do you want our users, listeners to go uh, to get more info about Aha Taxis? Oh, Any sure. Our website is there, ahataxis.com. It has all the details okay. about Aha Taxis. Uh, you're welcome to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have almost exhausted my Facebook 5000 ka limit. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, I'll be... Uh, uh, approachable on Amit Kovar okay. at ahataxis.com. That's my uh, email ID any, to connect with me. Okay. Any coupons for our listeners? Uh, sure. Uh, you can use the code GIIS. That is Global Indian International School. That's okay. Uh, okay. an acronym from my kids' school. Okay. You can use this code uh, to get a 250 rupees discount on your next uh, uh, outstation trip with Aha Taxis. Great. Thanks, Amit. Okay, uh, <laughs> finally, uh, listeners, keep moving and you will you may have your aha moment too. Again, thanks, Amit, for taking the time to talk to us and inspiring our listeners to start their own ventures or continue to building great products like Aha Taxis. Do visit ahataxis.com or download the app for more and visit us at the asianentrepreneur.com 
and please subscribe to our show on iTunes and leave a review on what you think about this episode. Thanks, Amit. Thank you, Rajiv. It's a pleasure to speak to you and everyone else. Uh, do what Rajiv says. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. Our hope is that you are encouraged by what you've heard, and you can put these same concepts and mindsets to use with your own style. See you next time as we discover more about what it takes to be an accomplished entrepreneur. In the meantime, head over to theasianentrepreneur.com and check out show notes and other information to motivate you in your entrepreneurial endeavors.